everyone welcome back for today's mani we're going to be dipping into dip powders from candy dips and we're going to be using two new fall colors so before we get started we're going to just do a little bit of color blocking today nothing too crazy just enough to separate and transition these two colors that we're using today so i'm using that 3m medical tape and then i'm going to press that tape down with that little silicone tool i'll link everything that we use in today's mani in that description box below if you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial on color blocking i will link that in the cards at the end of the video but we're starting off today with this beautiful color here called pumpkin spice and this is giving me all those pumpkin spice latte kind of vibes because it has this beautiful terracotta undertone to it and it's not that like bright brownie orange it's just a beautiful fall orange and pumpkin spice is definitely the perfect name for this color i mean i will admit i am a sucker for anything pumpkin spice in the fall time it's kind of an obsession, but I love it. It kind of just gets you ready for that fall season, but this color, it's everything. So for that color blocking nail, we are gonna put a little bit of that pumpkin spice there right on the cuticle line, and we're gonna transition it with a beautiful dip powder that you're gonna see in action in just a little bit. And it's really just gonna tie in this whole fall vibe mani. All right, so let's dive into this mani process, and then I'm gonna pop back in in just a little bit. Alright, so I'm just removing the color blocking tape here and I'm just taking my time to slowly pull that off just to make sure that we're not ripping that tape apart. And for the most part, this, this line that we created with the color blocking tape is super straight. I'm just going to go ahead and take a file to it and just crisp it up just a little bit. Again, we are doing the gel method, so this dip powder is completely cured. And now for the star of the show, this beautiful dip powder here called Fall Foilage. It's a beautiful... Ah, it's it's everything. It's fall in a dip powder. That's all I have to say. It has the most gorgeous nudie background. I love nudes. I gravitate towards nude dip powders. They're kind of my favorite. If I had to pick like one thing, I do like nudes, but I really love all colors. So anyways, we got sidetracked. So back to fall foliage. It's the most beautiful nude base. And then it has different elements in it. It has some fine glitter. It has um, these leaf shaped glitters. There's mylar teal flakes in here. There's a copper orange glitter in here. It is beautiful. It is everything. Now with that first dip, I'm not too concerned that we're not picking up those other elements in the dip because I really want to focus on the coverage first. That's going to help reduce bulk. That's going to help with filing and buffing. That's going to help overall with everything that we're going to be doing with this mani because we're going to be hand placing those leaves. So I really want to make sure that we have a flat surface to work on for hand placing seen the mylar flakes and the foils and the glitter pieces okay so the first dip we're going to cure for 30 seconds but this dip powder right here you kind of have best of both worlds you can really just make it the nudie color that you see here and then you can keep it organically so however you dip the nail like right here you're going to kind of see um, more elements pulled into this but see how it picked up more of those beautiful flakes and glitter pieces but it didn't pick up any of the big leaves and that's totally okay so you can either wear this dip powder just like you saw it there and then you can add increments and layers of that beautiful foils and glitters into it so you can kind of wear this dip powder a couple different ways and then you're going to hand place the leaf so you just because it's a fall dip doesn't necessarily mean you can just use it for fall you could just stay away from those bigger leaf pieces but this is a great glitter to have 
it's just gorgeous and there's just something about the base of this dip powder that just really makes these colors just come to life it's a great combination i really enjoy teals and oranges it just gives me like a rustic fall kind of manny and i'm totally loving it so for that second dip here you can see that we picked up some more foil pieces and some glitter but now we're really going to get into this nail here and just jazz it up completely. Again, you could totally leave this nail organically and just place like a leaf or two on there. But I wanted to do some leaves on here and I wanted to add a couple more pieces of glitter and foil. And that's the best part about doing our nails at, at home is that you can create the nail however you want. If you're not doing press-ons um, and you're doing this on your natural nail, you can just really take your time if you're doing the gel method and just really get everything where you want it before you cure it. If if you're doing dip liquids, you just might have to go in a couple times with that dip liquid just to keep everything um, sticking down. But these Mylar flakes are really fun and these leaves are so easy to work with. They are laying flat and I really like how they have like this beautiful color shift to them. So it kind of like looks like it has like some redness to it, some orange and yellow. It's like the perfect fun fall leaf. So now we're going to go ahead and add some more of that beautiful flakes and glitter to this color blocking nail and this one we're going to load up with a lot more leaf glitters and I had so much fun hand placing these leaves on this nail. I really like hand placing elements on a nail. I find it very fun. It's something different than just dipping your nails into a dip powder. It's kind of like you're creating a little bit of art with whatever is provided in these dip powders and I love it so much. So this dip powder right here, I will say it was very easy to work with. A lot of times people can get a little bit intimidated or stay away from dip powders that have larger pieces of glitter in it or shapes, but I'm telling you they are so fun and you're really going to be able to take your Manny into like the next level and really transform it and give your Manny something a little bit different. Even if you're just doing one leaf or two, you don't have to load it up like we did here. It's just a really fun way to incorporate nail art. So I did the rest of the placement on that pinky nail off camera and then we're going to go ahead and do some filing and buffing here. So filing and buffing was easy with these dip powders everything was laying really flat to that nail on the top so i only focused up cleaning up the sidewalls and the free edge and just a little bit of reshaping that's all i needed to do for this mani and it was super easy the powders apply really great candy dips has amazing finely milled beautiful dip powders that work really well with the gel method so application was fantastic. Now to seal in this mani, I'm going to do a layer of gel base. I'm going to do the rest of the nails off camera to save time. I did cure that for 30 seconds and now we're going to use this really fun. This is nail tape, but it's in like a sticker form. So I feel like it's super easy to work with. I just came across this a little bit ago and now I'm completely obsessed with it. I've only tried it. This is going to be my second time, but it is so easy to apply. So what you do is you just place it on the nail where you want it. I'm taking this little silicone tool just to make sure I'm just pressing everything down and there's no air bubbles or anything like that. And then that extra bit of sticker that's hanging off, I'm just taking an old pair of cuticle nippers that I use for nail art and I'm just cleaning, um, snipping off the sides and then you're going to, that's it. Then you're going to take your gel top coat and seal everything in. And that is it. That is as easy as it was to do that nail tape i feel like the other nail tapes that are on that roll are just super hard to work with so i did the rest of the top coat off camera but how fun is this mani i love it so much to be honest with you if i had to wear one mani the rest of the fall season without taking it off or changing it this would be it there's just something about this beautiful pumpkin spice color mixed with fall foliage fall foliage has the perfect base nude color and then it brings in all this teal and those color shifting of the leaves is everything. And then we have a little bit of a gold accent there on that color blocking nail. I'm completely obsessed with how this Manny turned out. It was super easy to achieve. I really like how we loaded that color blocking nail with all those leaves as well. It's kind of like a little fall explosion, but I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and link everything that we use in today's Manny in that description box below. I hope you enjoyed this Manny and I'll see you all in the next one.